Derby system. They produce some, and here are the Storm on the attack. Going to the left-hand side, an immediate result as well. Cameron Munster. And the Eels have five more plays. Down the short side, Norman, a quick ball, and it was Maru who put the pressure on to force the mistake, and he grabs the four-pointer. He'll play it barely a metre away. Harris goes to Green, kicking early once again. A chance out wide, filling it down just in time, Richie Kenner. He factored in the skill that he has as Blake Green goes straight through the Parramatta Eels. Well, it's the Blake Green show in this second half. Two tremendous kicks, one for a try. Sweeping across the ground has made it very uncomfortable for fans just as they dry, they get wet again. Radradra with it, unusual, didn't score in their first match of the day. And now for Bevan French, and he's got plenty of speed. French will get there, just got away from Joe Burgess. Scored a hat trick in his very first game of nines back in 2014. And uh, they'd like to see him come up with him again here. Loose balls on the bounce. The wingers are having a bit of luck. Now, by Tautai will get there. He's bounced up for nine. I'm sure he's bounced up. He knows it. This set of five for the Roosters. Best field position they've had in the match. Comes up for a Nasta. Kept it going along for Manu. He's been a, a handful every time he's touched the ball. Flicks out the ball. No idea where it was. It ended up on Latrell Mitchell. I reckon the Troll didn't know where it was either. Higher try scoring average than year one or year two so far today, and that's despite the rain. So Eels possession, and up to halfway. Here goes Semi. You Semi run, run, run. He had a look at the bonus zone. He'll settle for midway between the posts and the sideline. Where's the holes? There's a Kenny Dow. There's the hole. It's down the right hand side, and away goes Omar Slamankul on his return. Here he is, the cover defence. Slamankul, 15 minutes out from the line. Kenny Dow is with it. He's dummy, then delivered the pass. Lusick. Now they're lining up on the left hand side. No thanks, Smith. And oh no. And he actually did offload it, but Lusick got a hand to it. Sean Kenny Dow now into end stuff. Game's just starting to warm up. Offload there at that time. Mitchell's hands, they uh, do the job. Mitchell, we know he can run. He's got away. He's got away. Lachlan Mitchell. He makes up for the other era. This boy is a talent. Last of five tackles here for the Roosters. Anasta, field goal. Anasta, a one-pointer. Oh, it was Daniel Tufo and Michael Oldfield scored. And now Parramatta. They will score that one. First opportunity to score as King nips away from dummy half. Beautiful hands and timing of the pass to Semi Radradra. Inside 30 seconds, the first try of the match. That was pleasant for Eels fans as Sutton goes for a 40-20. Hasn't got the angle on it. Racing back though, it's still a very good kick as Kotai. Is that a try? Is that a try? Yes. Ma'u gives it out to Kelly. Now they're looking at for some action down the right edge. Corey Norman. Well, he can do it all. He can pass the ball, kick conversions, and now he's finished off beautifully. Cornish at dummy half. Still inside their own half on the last tackle. They're going to run it, are they? Norman. Oh, they've got an overlap as well. This is looking good for the Eels. Good option taken. Here's French with the gas and the bounce and the try. Sensational try on the last play from the Parramatta Eels. And the 20s player who's get his opportunity in this game. They're going to score first. And a bonus point try would be crucial as well. Born in the Cook Islands. Now on the last play go the Eels. Oh, gap that tackle needed to be made and it was. But the Eels have capitalised nicely for the opportunity on the right now. Yes, I've opened it up for Tutai who's in. Doing a good job. They're in the... Uh, 
best position possible here for the Eels to ram it home. Norman, a great pass to Radradra. Patient play. Rewarded. in the first of the four quarterfinals and Brock Lamb gets us underway. Low grubbing kickoff. Taken by Norman, knocked on by Sammy Radradra. A mistake from the start by the Eels to replace him as the dummy half. Good hands there from Luke Kelly. Good run by Corey Norman and Devin French. This flyer scores the first try of the quarterfinal and the Eels Lead at four points to nil. That's what the Eels are doing very well. When they get into a good field position, they run a little set play here, the short side or the long side. The ripe old age of 26 in 2015. Now Feeney goes out towards the right-hand side. And look at Semi Radradra. He's right up in Brock Lamb's grill. I'm not entirely sure why that was the case. I guess he was still recovering from being smashed by this man, Semi Good lead now at eight points to nil. They're one-on-one -on -one with him, but they came from the inside to help him out. Goes across through Cornish. Long ball from Junior Paulo. He'll find Bevan French. He's gone from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, and it is one-way traffic for Parramatta. Left-hand side, his brother Corbin was there as well. Goes from Wheel Tearsall in behind them. Just coasting back up! Was happening there. There was a malfunction in the thinking, thinking rather, of the Parramatta outside backs because Jake Marmo has just pulled their pants down. Go, one. Poorly to play it. Comes across to Lamb. Just crab across the field, draw and pass. Gave it to Feeney. Feeney stuck in behind Maroa. Trying to bring it around for a bonus try. Now we've got a finish, haven't we? They're just outside the 10, trailing by four. Two minutes remaining. Here is Tarek Sims down the short side. Lost the ball as he was about to plant it down. That could be the play of the quarterfinal. Best chance to score. Celia Weeney comes across to Brody Croft. Back to the short side. Britt Harris in behind them. He gets across. Torhu Harris scores. They want confirmation. They're going to say, held up! He didn't get it down with the first plunge. Croft, it comes again. Good tackle by Croft. They're just outside the 20. Last play. Totai goes on a blindside rush. Here's French! French got there. He got to the ball just inside the line. He is blinding quick. Yeah, locking square. Hold. Minute 45 remaining in this opening half. Parramatta 4 nothing. Here go Melbourne though. A chance with Richie Kenner running into open space. Moreau can't go with him. And Melbourne lock it up with a long range try. Get away from the markers. Quick hands out to Richie Kenner. And there was no cover there from the Eels. Pretty, pretty. Seven away. Oh, they've had to do plenty of running the Eels with that run from young Tonomapia. I think they're out on their feet. They're waiting for the storm to come to them. Harris storming away from them. He'll go all the way to put Melbourne back in front. The storm are just playing the game where exactly where they want to. The little kick from Blake Green. It didn't find the in goal area, but they're making the Eels spin the ball from their own half. Here's a chance. Gee, they had the numbers on the left there. Terrapo had to pass the ball. Still got them. They keep it going. Gower on the wraparound. Norman is there. Cornish doing likewise. Sees a bit of space. Draws and passes. Lovely work by Mitch Cornish. Rad Radra grabs another one. And it's a handy lead now for the Eels. Well,
final all of New Zealand have been anticipating since the Nines' inception in 2014. The Warriors carrying the weight of local expectation, finally dazzling their way to the pre-season tournament's decider against an equally impressive Parramatta outfit. Competition surprise packets the Eels had also never come so far and continued their shock tactics all the way to the final. Field haven't seen too many of these to be honest. The Warriors are the bounce down, the touched up and Parramatta will get a bonus on Troy just like that. And look who has scored it, Bevan French. The home side stunned, you could hear a pin drop at Eden Park and the Eels kept piling on the misery. Norman, they rushed up quickly, they don't make the tackle. He's got the right run. Stop him from that range. Sammy Radradra and Bevan French. It is amazing. There has been no other Parramatta try scorer in the quarters, the semis, and the final. Alternatively, superstar recruit Roger Tuabaza Shek had been kept quiet for most of the tournament, but he'd turn up when the locals needed him most. So much expected of Tuabaza Shek. What a step. What a final we've got underway. It's not night time yet, but the stars are out. The Warriors would bungle the second half kickoff, but of greater concern, their star half would reel out of the collision. We mightn't see Sean Johnson again. Without their talisman, the Warriors' hopes plummeted, but the Eels' spirit soared. Big opportunity for the Blue and Golds. This could be their time. Norman delivers that tail tie and scores. Norman delivers another final pass for a try. Parramatta were now in total control with Corey Norman calling all the shots. And now Norman again. Norman passes. Oh, the play of the tournament has sent Cody Nelson into the Garden of Eden here at Eden Park. The Eels breaking Kiwi hearts. There's a trophy on its way to Parramatta. And you don't reckon the Nines mean something? Yeah, no, it's good, man. I'm just finishing, feeling so awesome. So all the boys are loving it, and um, yeah, good times. The mindset coming into this tournament, the ultimate goal was it to win it. You come here with the purpose of winning. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, they didn't want to come here and be half-assed, but um, yeah, definitely the goal was to come here and win it, and um, we've done it today, and it feels good.